Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you could join us for another installment of Georgia Studies. All right, we're going to talk about the actual founding or the European founding of the, uh, not the state, the colony of Georgia. It's, called, it's a fascinating history. So there's this man by the name of Robert Castell, and he's friends with another man by the name of James Oglethorpe. I like to say Oglethorpe, so I'm going to say that, but that's not how you say it. You're actually supposed to say Oglethorpe, but I like saying Oglethorpe. It's fun. So anyway, old Oglethorpe is friends with his friend Robert Castell. Robert Castell can't afford to pay his credit card bill. There weren't credit cards back then, but he got himself in a lot of debt. And back then, when you couldn't pay your debts, went straight to jail. So he goes straight to jail. And... He dies in jail because jails back then were terrible, like dungeons, you know, like with the dripping ceilings and the rats. They didn't feed you very much. And you're crammed in a, a room, you know, that's supposed to hold 30 people. You got 300 people in there, y'all breathing on each other. Ah, oh, there's no social distancing. Okay, it was driving me crazy. Anyway, he died. And so James Oglethorpe was like, oh, that's so terrible. My friend shouldn't have died, and, and Oglethorpe, he was rich anyway. He could have bailed him out, but he didn't know he was in prison until after he's dead. So, he was like, this is terrible. We should have a place to send people that they could work off their debts. Obviously not here. We don't want them here. But let's send them someplace else. Oh, I know the New World. And where is there space in the New World? Uh, south of South Carolina. And to get the king to go for it, what we'll do is we'll call it Georgia because you're named King George, so we're going to name it after you, King George. Georgia. It's going to be like your place, and that's going to be fancy. Like, you're going to like it. And King George is like, okay, tell me more. Tell me more. I like where this is going. And so Oglethorpe's like, and, 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 King, and we can grow grapes there. We're importing grapes from France. We know how much you hate France, and you hate to buy stuff from France. You hate to buy them grapes from France to make your wine. So we'll make the grapes in Georgia, and we're also importing silk, uh, and we're also importing dyes to, you know, to make uh, colored clothing. And so we can produce silk and dye, you know, from like mulberry trees and stuff in Georgia. And that way we could make our own stuff, and uh, yeah, then we won't have to buy it from France or Russia. And the king's like, okay, 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 okay. And then he says, and this is really the kicker, he says, look, South Carolina is really close to the furthest north Spanish settlement, which is in St. Augustine, Florida. So if you look at a map, there's really not a whole lot of space between Charleston, South Carolina, which was a British colony, and St. Augustine, Florida. And the king was always worried about the Spanish, you know, like, okay, let's invade the British colony of South Carolina. And the king was always worried about us, an invasion from the south by the Spanish. And so what Oglethorpe did was he negotiated with the king. He said, look, if you let me have that land in between Charleston, South Carolina, and St. Augustine, we will act like an early warning signal for an attack on South Carolina. If anybody comes through Georgia, we'll know it, and we'll fight them off. And the king was like, okay, okay, I like that. So um, it took a couple of years of negotiation, but by 1732, they had the charter written. In the next video, we'll talk about the charter. Make sure that you pay attention to the PowerPoint that contains the information that I just talked about. Make sure that you do the practice on James Oglethorpe, and make sure that you watch all of the videos and PowerPoints contain Google Slides contained in this unit before you do the assessment.